What's up, YouTube? JD here, and today we're going to start a new uh, Feed the Beast Let's Play. We're going to be playing uh, Blood and Bones. I'm a little sick today, so I can't really do any schoolwork or anything else, so I figured, you know, today might be a good day to start my new Let's Play series on it. Now, I actually had already started a Blood and Bones Let's Play before, and I had been up updating it on YouTube, and I ended up getting my base destroyed, and I gave up. So here we are, back again, going to get started. Uh, Blood and Bones, a sick man's tale. Hopefully I don't sound too terrible on the recording. I'll try to, I'm hoping this kind of breaks everything up in my chest and I can get to talking normal by the end of it, we'll see. We're going to use world type biomes of plenty. <clears throat> and I'll try not to cough into the mic too much. Uh, but there's the world name. No cheats, nothing like that. Create a new world and let's get started. And I'm sure you'll be hearing my wife and my kids and stuff like that on my, on my Let's Play. Uh, I'm a grown man. I got a family. Sorry if you don't like hearing it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much and you can deal with it. But here we go. So, starting off in a snowy biome, looks like. What, what biome is this? Ta taiga? As usual, any Minecraft start, wake up, punch trees, let's get going. First thing, our first goal. Uh, we need to get some Tinkerer's Construct. Uh, pieces going, the tool station, the pattern table, and the part builder, and we need to craft a pick and a mattock that will cover axes, shovels, picks, and um, hoes to get us started. And then on top of that, we need to get a, uh, or once we get that done, we'll want to get some gravel so we can actually craft those tools. Um, and sorry, I need to plug my phone in. Let me plug in my phone right quick. There we go. Okay. Uh, we'll need some gravel to actually make those tools. You can't make just. Uh, oh, that was awesome, JD. Good job. You're not able to make just wooden tools. The actual tool uh, hierarchy, advancement, whatever you want to call it, tech advancement, is very different in this pack. So we start off with flint, and then we go to copper, and then you can go to iron, and then you can go to bronze, or you can go to steel, and from steel you start getting into dark iron or dark steel, and then anolashite, and all kinds of stuff. But we'll talk about all that as we go. So we need the wood. We need a pretty good little chunk of wood, to be honest. And I don't like leaving floating trees, so I'm trying to avoid that while I do this. I'm hoping to get some apples while I do this, but so far no luck. We need to keep a close eye on the sun. Because in this mod pack, knights are, I mean, just super, super dangerous. Um, even if you're dug in underground, zombies will dig in after you. Creepers will suicide on top of you just to dig a hole down to you if they have to. So we, we need to be really careful. It's best to be, like, out on the ocean. But, I mean, you can survive underground. I'm not saying you can't. You just got to be smart about it. It's best to backfill the hole that you dig with natural blocks for a certain distance in to make sure that you're kind of protected. Okay. Uh, I didn't see any gravel that way. I see some food this way, so I'm going to go grab it. So along with getting our Tinkerer's Construct off the ground, one of our big concerns right now, ooh, to the north, perfect, is getting a bunch of food gathered so that we can survive. And we really want these berries, but we don't want too many of the same kind. We need, we need a diversity here. There is a, a hunger overhaul on this mod in which you, you can only eat the same food five times before it starts giving uh, depreciated... Uh, or returns. I don't know if to appreciate it is the right word. I, part of being sick, I'm being kind of dumb. Anyways, um, so you want to rotate through what foods you eat. And so let's say that I eat apples five times. Well, I need to eat 30 other foods before I can eat apples again. Now, those 30 other foods, I could eat rhubarb 30 times in a row and it would let me eat apples again. But that would mean I'd have to have a lot of rhubarb on me. It's best to really have a diversity of food, especially with the berries because we're going to be able to craft an item that allows us to turn those berries into juices and that's one of the only ways to heal yourself in the early game so we've got plenty of lumber now I want to really find some gravel that's that's what I'm looking for now is gravel I'd like to kill these sheep and get their wool but another twist to this mod pack is if you attack a neutral critter such as a sheep um, it and all of its amigos around it are going to be into berserk charge you and kill you and they will win just as a, a warning um, 
you take massive damage, and swinging a lot really hurts your hunger. Any action you perform is going to hurt your hunger. So you need lots and lots of food in this pack. Alright, let's find some gravel. I'll take those. Good deal. And we're getting a pretty good amount of food. Now, I'm going to reset real quick because we've got a chunk load issue. It'll only take a second. Sorry about that. It happens a lot. And we get a lot. We also get a lot of lighting errors. So there's our first creeper already coming after us. That's joyous. We got some fruit growing right here, but there's not much I can do with it yet. I don't want that seed. It's worthless to me right now. It's just going to take up inventory space. And right here in the beginning, inventory space is super valuable. Where did that creeper go? I'm very scared. This cotton is super important to me as well, um, on the simple reason that that's how I can make string, and that's kind of a big deal. Uh, there's probably going to be some clay in this water, I'm hoping, because clay is another valuable resource. Obviously, I was with any feed the beast that has Tinker's Construct, sand, clay, and gravel are very important to the early game to getting going. Um, yeah, looks like we have a tower ahead of us. We have a witch's circle over there. Okay. The witch's circle, I won't be going near for a long time. I saw some, uh, what do you call it? Aluminum down there. The tower I will go to because there will be a chest on the top level. And that top level chest will get me uh, a pair of leather pants. Usually a one-time use sword and a one-time use pick. The sword and pick aren't really worth much, but the, the pants are worth it. A little sand in my way. Whoa, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that wool all day, every day. Okay, so we'll take this. We'll take the three torches. We get a little bit of juice. I'll take the bricks, and I'll go ahead and take these. They'll probably get, uh, end up getting thrown out before they actually get used, but I might see like a chicken or something, and I can pop them real quick with it. See, there's a chicken. So if you do happen to kill the neutral mob before it can call out to its friends, you win like that, okay? And we'll grab the cotton. All right, we're really, really needing to find gravel soon. We've got a lot of food built up. That's great. We should have no problem surviving the night, hunger-wise. Uh, but we're, we're going to run out of daylight soon. There's some coal right there. That's nice. That'll come in really helpful. Uh, but I need the gravel. we got a skeleton chilling out under a tree that doesn't look like he's really under a tree. That's kind of silly. Gravel? Anywhere? Gravel? The skeleton's already shooting at me. Is there another one? Oh, there's another one over here. Okay. That's silly. There's a lot of mobs spawned in this world for some reason. None of these are harvestable right now. Okay, looks like we're going to have to do some climbing, which is going to hurt the hunger bar, but, you know, what are you going to do? And even digging like this does affect your hunger, so... I mean, you really need to be smart in the early game with what actions you're doing, and we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it kind of minimal at the beginning, and we're gonna take it nice and slow, and hopefully not overextend ourselves. But we really need to find some gravel somewhere, or we're in bad shape already. Uh, there's that witch's circle over there. I don't want to go near that. I really don't. I hear a zombie. Uh, what do we got? Some forest and stuff. Don't want to go near that. Okay. Let's keep on trucking. And daylight's burning, so... <laughs> Give me some gravel. The other thing that you have to keep in mind is you have a weight limit in this game. And the closer you get to that weight limit, the slower you start to move. Um, sprinting is generally a bad idea. Unless you're, you know, once you get to the later game and you're pretty set on food and stuff, sprint all you want. Have have a blast. But when you're at this point, it's it's going to come back to bite you in the ass most likely. So keep that in mind. Let's put all this food away for now. Let's grab this, this, let's munch those. Right now I'm just trying to get my food filled back up from all the jumping and stuff I'm having to do. We are, we are getting a fair bit of cotton, which will help with getting a bed made. 
which will help with setting a spawn point, so that's nice. But still zero gravel. And I mean, we're desperate, so as soon as we see a piece of gravel, regardless of where it is, we're going to have to go after it. Quick sand, that'll kill us. We got It'll suffocate us. Uh, these berries are different than your normal berries, these up here. You can't juice these, but they come in really helpful for just restoring hunger because you can eat them really fast. So if you're like in an emergency situation, running from mobs, trying to get your uh, hunger restored because you can't run fast anymore, having some of these on hand can really save the day. There was some moss on that tree back there, but it's biomes of plenty moss. Um, it's not really useful to me right now, and I don't have a lot of inventory space to spare for it. So we're not going to mess with it. Bamboo. It's just a dirt pond. Okay. Maybe over there. Maybe. Let's run for that and see if we can find some gravel. We're about to have to hole up for the night, at which point I'll probably pause the recording because watching me sit in a hole all night is not going to be entertaining. We really, really need to come across some gravel soon. Or we are screwed. Alright, so I see lots of stuff but not what we're wanting to see we're going to clip a torch to our face plate here so that we can there we go there's the magic stuff all right we need nine of this as quickly as we can get it one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can just dig in right here really quick because darkness is coming and I don't want to die. Alright, so we do happen to have a little bit of dirt, so that'll help. So what we're going to do is we're going to just expand this out. Okay. Semi-safe, not really. Um, mobs can dig through that. Mobs will dig through that to get to us. But it's a start. So, alright, that worked out nicely actually. Um, we're going to cover this stuff back up and we're going to kind of step in here and have a look around doesn't look like anything's in here to spawn on me nice okay so let's stand over here to the side what we're going to do is we need to first off let's organize our inventory a little bit get some space to work with things here um, we're going to take part of these and we're going to turn them into planks we need to use uh, roughly seven of these to turn into sticks and we're going to do nine actually that works perfectly okay we're gonna take eight of these out and keep them and the other seven we're gonna turn into blank patterns like so now once we have our blank patterns the other four of these we're gonna make this and so this is what you need to get started one log one crafting table one plank seven of these patterns so put the patterns in planks go in and we get back our stencil table crafting table goes in we get back our tool station Spruce wood goes, the log goes in, and we get back our part builder. Okay. Oops, I'm going to need those. Let's go back and get them. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get out of the water. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put down our stencil table first, right here. Then our part builder. And then our tool station. Okay, so let's pop our stencils in right quick. With our stencils, we need to pull out a pickaxe head, a shovel head, a axe head, or an, I should have said, and then we need to go back here and get a binding. And now, we, so we've got all the pieces we need, the patterns. Let's drop our patterns in. We're going to need to use one of those patterns to make a binding out of wood. Now, the other patterns are based off of needing flint. So you take your gravel and you make flint out of it, like so. Now, I made six pieces. You don't need six, you need three to start. But I made six because I, I also wanted to reduce my weight and I want to be able to repair my tools a bit. So axe head, pickaxe head, get a flint axe head, a flint pickaxe head. We need to make the shovel. There's that. Okay. So now we're ready for the tool station. Here we're going to drop the binding in the bottom, the sticks in the top, and then the tool we want to make in the front right here. So there's our pickaxe. Now for the mattock, the axe goes in first, then the shovel. Can't do it the other way, or at least you used to not could, yeah. So it's got to go axe first, then shovel, and we get a mattock. So now we've got our tools. We're doing good. So why the extra sticks? Well, we're going to take this stick and we're going to make a torch out of it. 
so that we have a few more torches. Torches are kind of important early game. The other thing that we need to do is we need to turn this uh, cotton into string, and that's going to give us back 10 string, which if we take and we put in in groups of four, we're going to get back two wool. So we're now sitting on three wool, so we could actually, if we had a crafting table, we could make our bed. Now if you notice, logs are only giving two planks each in this. You'll want to make a sawmill. A lot of times in this mod pack you can avoid uh, thermal expansions saw mill and there's no need to make it and feed the beast there's a very good reason to make it in blood and bones it's extremely helpful I would strongly suggest you make it so we've got our tool bench and we're gonna just offset it over here to the side it, it can float who needs gravity right we're gonna need it for several different things first we're gonna need to take and we're gonna need to make three two of these so that we have three logs and if you notice all the numbers are working out just right it's, I've done this a time or two so there's our bed that's also going to open up some more inventory space for us. Hoorah. We do not need the moss, and I really don't care about spruce saplings right now. Um, other things that I don't care about are the patterns. We can remake those really easily once we find a base later. So for the time being, I'm going to toss all these patterns out because they're really a waste of space for me. Now, there's zombies growling. And if we listen closely, it's entirely possible they're going to start to try to dig in to get to us soon. So we need to be aware of that and ready to defend ourselves. Now I'm up to 11 and that's what I needed. Cobble. So we want to take 8 of it, drop it in and get our furnace out. We'll plop our furnace down right here. And for this we want to cook 3 of these. So let's get 2 planks out. Well, we still got a little bit of lumber left so we're doing pretty good. So let's cook that up. So what else do we not need? We don't need this. This is take no, 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 not that. We don't need this. That's taking up inventory space. And realistically, we don't need the stone pickaxe. We would get one use out of it, and then it would break. I guess I could have mined some more cobble with it just to break it, but whatever. Now, once we have this for these three smooth stone, what we want to do is we want to take these and put them in there, and make a pressure plate. Go back to the middle. It has to be the middle, and place the stone on top of the pressure plate, and you'll get a juicer. Now, if you put these to the side, it doesn't work. And just to give you one more little tip here, if you want to use your crafting window to make it, you have to put them over to the side like this. If you put them to the left, it doesn't work. I guess this is considered the middle portion of a craft, what would be an expanded crafting table. So there's our juicer. Now with our juicer, we can take any of these berries like this and turn them into juices. And if we were to have snowballs on hand, we could actually turn them into um, smoothies. I'm not going to do that right now because, well, I'll do it with these four because there's only four of them but basically I would be duplicating inventory space usage and right now I'm trying to conserve my inventory space um, I can't eat more oh that's what I was gonna do I need to cook this chicken up and then we're gonna eat that chicken so there's that now we don't have to sit here and be uh, completely idle while we wait for the rest of the night to pass in fact, we're not going to be. We're going to go ahead and pick up these Tinker Construct Tables, because we don't need them right now to be sitting down. And we're going to start carving out some gravel and stuff. Now, an obvious question that comes into play here is if I'm carving out the gravel and stuff, am I not consuming hunger and taking up weight? Yes, I am. But we're going to need the gravel for a few things. We're going to need it for Tinker's Construct, obviously, to make our um, smelting table, or our smeltery. We're also going to need it for additional flint to repair our tools, right? So we're going to use some tricks that are part of the of the normal Feed the Beast. Um, are you kidding me? You're not going to let me pick my flint up? I hate the lag. It's so annoying. Okay, so let's grub our chicken out, and we're going to grub that right quick. That's, that's some good food. We need it. And I can hear all the monsters outside that want to eat my soul. It's scary. Just in case they happen to get in, I'm going to go ahead and set my... And now it's raining outside. That's going to make for an awesome day. Okay. I'm going to go 
probably get some more cobble as well. That way we have some building material when we get out of here. Now every single piece of cobble that we pick up increases our weight by one. And that's really, really bad. So we can't carry much cobble on us when we leave here. So why would I sit here and mine it? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the cobble. And we can only hold them in stacks of 16. But if we take the cobble and we compress it, because compressed cobble, sand, gravel, dirt, all exist in this pack, then we drop our weight back down to 14. And that's pretty good. That's a pretty good compression ratio. So what we want to do is we want to get enough cobble to where we can do one double compressed piece. And the double compressed piece will account for 81 cobble, and that will give us, you know, some good building material when we're out of here. And it'll give us something to do for the night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some mining. I'm going to wait for daylight, and then I'll be back. And we'll start looking for a base, because I don't want to have you guys sit around too much while, while I'm doing this kind of stuff. Um, how often I'm going to do skipped scenes, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I don't want to waste 30 minutes of me sitting here for the night while you watch me dig cobblestone. That doesn't sound very entertaining for a YouTube video. But I'll see you guys in just a bit. So I kind of lied to you guys. I went to dig out a piece of gravel just to see, you know, what time it was. And while killing a drowning creeper, it dropped a bucket. I've never had that happen. But it is daylight outside, but it is also raining. So I'm sitting here um, more or less harvesting mobs, um, for lack of a better way to put it, and killing them. Um, I guess we could try to go out and adventure a little bit. Let's see, we're at 21. Uh... Put two of those in there. Set this to the side. Okay, let's throw those three out. And let's compound all of this business. There we go. Alright, and then let's do the same with our gravel. We'll make one compound block. And that takes our weight down significantly. Alright, we're going to definitely want to take our furnace and our crafting table with us. And before we go, we're going to want to repair um, our tools. So let's throw the pick in, piece of gravel, mattock in, piece of gravel, I mean flint, and we're all repaired up. Now, food-wise, we're still hurting a bit, so let's go ahead and grub these berries down. so fast okay uh, we can't eat those yet but we can drink the blueberry juice I don't really want to drink the blueberry juice because it's one of my only ways to heal so I'd rather save that for important times but you gotta do what you gotta do and right now that's what I gotta do so let's grab our bed a bit more flint action here and let's get out of here we're probably gonna get attacked as soon as we come out nope we didn't that's amazing okay so daytime, raining, that sucks, but we're out of the cave and we're off adventuring again. Now you'll notice that when I break this, a cloud of gas comes out. That cloud of, is coal gas, and it, if you're holding a torch in your hand, it's not a big deal. But if there's a torch out on the ground and that coal gas comes out, it's going to cause an explosion like TNT or a creeper. And it will hurt you and it will blow up all the rocks around you and... You can, it, you'll find that it can cause chain reactions and all kinds of other stuff. So be aware of your surroundings and what's on the ground <clears throat> when you start breaking coal wide open. Ooh, my voice is starting to fix. Yay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and my, grab the rest of this gravel while I'm here simply because I'm going to need it. And this is easy access. Plus, I still have time to compress it all right now. I don't want to miss this. What I'll probably end up doing is making a boat in case nightfall comes, so I can just jump out on the water and be safe. So we're going to grab as much of this gravel as we can right quick. And if you find this part boring, I'm sorry guys. Uh, I, I try, I'm going to try to keep the episodes as entertaining as I can, but I also want people to understand, you know, how I got what I got, where I got it from, those type of things. So there's no questions, you know, hey, where did this come from? How did you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I really want to keep everything on camera as much as possible, but I will skip things like 
just standing around doing nothing while I'm waiting for something to happen. Oh, that's bad. So poison is absolutely far and away one of the worst things you can have happen in this game. Um, nothing has destroyed me as much as poison has uh, in Blood and Bones. Just, just so you're aware. Poison, bad. Now, armor works a little differently, if you haven't noticed. You see those little golden hearts that I have? That, those are absorption. And the more absorption hearts you have, obviously, the more damage you can absorb before it starts affecting your actual hearts. So absorption's a pretty cool little mechanic. I like it. I like that they've done that. Um, I'm enjoying it. All right, so let's eat some. We can't eat rutabaga. can eat that, but I'm not going to right now. Uh, let's keep digging. How much gravel do I have? Two? I need to get four more. So I need 36 more. So 34 more. So we'll mine these into a stack, hopefully. And that's going to give us two stacks of gravel. And that should be all the gravel I need to do Tinkerer's Construct with. As in to make my smelter. And that's kind of awesome. It means I've already got that knocked out out of the way. We're probably going to need to repair my mattock soon. I use my mattock a lot as a weapon because you can't make swords out of flint and because um, the axe head does more damage than the pick head. And in reality, the pick head is more important for mining to be able to get into shelters and stuff. Things that I could use the mattock on, I can dig through with my fist. Things that I need to use the pickaxe for, I cannot do that. So that's why I use my mattock as a weapon a lot. Oh, what can we drop? We're going to need those bones. We're not going to need the sticks. We'll, we'll drop the sticks. All right, let's go over here. And let's compress. Boom. And now we can take this and we can double compress it. And that 9 becomes 1. And we're back down to a weight of 12. And that's pretty awesome, considering we've got 81 gravel on us. And I think like 36 uh, cobble. Hey, my kids, my wife and my kids are home. Oh, let's go grab that bone. Look, there's an apple tree. This is why the bone's important. With bones, oh, I, I have the bone. Um, I'm dumb. I'm wasting time. Anyways, with this bone, we can make it a bone mill, obviously. And with the bone mill, we can come over here to this tree. And hit this, and boom, we got a mature apple. Do it twice, and we got another mature apple. We can take that mature apple and we can combine it with just a regular old sapling. And we get our own apple trees where we can grow our own fruits. And that's pretty awesome. Can't tell if it's becoming day or night. Got to be careful. We can eat these right now, so we're going to grub that. Uh, have I been eating rutabaga? We're going to now. Now you can also get apples just by uh, breaking leaves, by the way. So just so you're aware. Okay. Um, what we got? This is just a big forest. This is brush land. Okay. Let's keep going. Now we could throw down a boat and get out of here at any time, but we don't have a boat made. So it might be intelligent for us to go ahead and make a boat. So... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a place to set up a base and then I'll be back. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.